So now when you want to manipulate basic shapes, you need to learn a couple more things. Let's start with a rectangle. I'm going to draw that out. And then I'm going to take two ellipses. I'm going to actually draw one. And I'm going to copy it for the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up over here. I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to center this. to the center and it was pretty close. I'll show you that it didn't seem to move very much. I'll just show you here. When I click align center, it moves this circle to the center of the shape. And I'm now gonna take this and I'm gonna copy and paste it. And I'm gonna paste it right in front of it so that it's exactly in the same place. But I'm gonna just move it down using my arrow buttons not very quick. I'm holding it down. I'm not pressing it continually. And I'm going to wait until it's roughly in about the same shape. In about the same position, I should say. So now if you don't know which tool you should be using to keep this, this, and this, and get rid of this part in the middle, just try it. You need to go over to the Modify window. You could choose Weld that's what this does. And if that's not what you wanted, click the undo button and try intersect. Okay, that's not what you wanted for sure. Then try subtract and you see what that does. Click undo again, click crop. That's what you get when you click crop. You can try subtract all. And what that does then is it separates all of those pieces for you. So I'm going to click undo a couple of times to get back to where I was. And I'll choose divide. And then now this creates a whole bunch of pieces. That gives you a good idea of what all those different commands do. So in what we're talking about on the list today, we want it, we would want to use the weld function to get the shape that we're looking for. Hope that's been helpful to you.